This is the Fulgor P490, a tier 2 gunboat on the Italian naval line which is placed at a BR of 3.3. The vessel has a crew of 38 sailors and displaces 191 tons which is considerably more than its predecessors. The main armament of the Fulgor is a pair of Beaufort's L60 40mm cannons, one at the bow and one at the stern. These have a fire rate of 160 rounds per minute and do have a few ammunition belt types which are distinguished by their differing amounts of high explosive and armour piercing rounds. The universal belt has a 50-50 split of these round types whereas the HE belt has more high explosive and the AP belt has more armour piercing. Due to the presence of these same rounds in all belt types, they all have up to 80mm of armour penetration. These turrets allow for a full 360 degrees of rotation at a speed of 30 degrees per second and vertical guidance of minus 6 and plus 90 degrees which can be done at a speed of 24 degrees per second. These guns are easily capable of swiftly destroying any other smaller vessels that you may encounter and can be used to take down destroyers in situations where the Fulgore's torpedoes may not be convenient, although it will usually take a while to knock down a destroyer. The torpedoes used are C200s of which 4 can be carried. These are not something that I personally end up using all that much, but they can come in handy from time to time when engaging larger vessels such as destroyers. These torpedoes can travel up to 1.86 miles at a speed of 51 miles an hour and carry a warhead with 200 kilograms of TNT, so any target that is hit will certainly take a considerable amount of damage. The vessel is powered by four diesel engines which drive its four propellers. These allow the Fulgore to reach up to 41 miles an hour when spaded, which is easily fast enough to get around the map when needed. While its predecessors have search radars and the Fulgore seemingly has a radar animated, it does not currently have any radar mechanics in game. After some research, it does appear that the Fulgore in real life did have a radar system of some description, although I could not find any specifics on the type of radar that that was, so this might just be a feature that will be added at some point in the future. As far as customization, there are no secondary camouflage options. Uh, as with most other vessels, the stock scheme is rather empty, although thankfully there is a user skin for this vessel that makes it look a little bit more bright and interesting. So a link to that will of course be put in the description. Moving over to some gameplay, we're going to be looking at a few matches in Naval RB to take a look at what this vessel is capable of. So this game is one of the earlier matches I did before I had fully upgraded the Fulgore. First enemy is an S100. Uh, the vessel's relatively quickly taken out using my 40 mils, although he does get a little hit onto my vessel, setting me on fire and doing some minor damage. Luckily though at this point I had researched the fire extinguishers and the repair kit, so that wasn't too much of an issue. Second kill on an Mboot 43, most of his crew had already been taken out by another friendly, and I really just took out the last 40-30% or so. Looking forward we see two British uh, vessels leaving the enemy small boat spawn, obviously heading towards the A point. So I take the initiative to take them out before they can capture the zone. Uh, as said, this was one of the earlier games, so I was still getting used to the leading of the 40 mils. Uh, first one was taken down. Second one, uh, I missed quite a few shots. Uh, obviously, we're going in opposite directions. We're quite far away. Um, so sort of just getting practice on how to use the 40 mils the most effectively in these kind of situations. But I do eventually hit him enough to take him down. And that was four kills relatively quickly at the start of the match, taking a fairly minimal amount of damage to my own vessel. The plan was then of course to move up to the A point and capture it. While I was doing that, I spot another enemy boat moving away from the small boat spawn. So I select the target and start spamming my guns. Again on this one I do actually miss quite a few shots, but all it really takes is a few solid hits to knock out the compartments in that enemy boat and that's another kill for me. One thing worth noting is that at this kind of BR, you do see a lot of bots, and about half of the kills that I get in this game are bot kills, which is a bit annoying, but they count as player kills, and, you know, it's, it's essentially free RP. Although the bots do fight back, they don't tend to be as effective as players. Um, so I went through the A point, I almost captured it, but unfortunately I drifted through, so now I've got to turn around, get back into the capture point, and there is an enemy vessel. I don't have necessarily a clear line of sight, 
but I can lock the target, I can acquire that target, get the ranging, spam a bunch of rounds, and then knock out that target, uh, even though I don't have a perfect visual. And I do knock him out. Uh, again, it's a bot, annoyingly. But nonetheless, it's another kill, so I'm going to take that. After that point, I turn around, capture the A point, and then I leave the A point. Seeing a lot of gunfire, go to investigate, and what I see is what looks to be an R-Boot 301. So I start spamming rounds, uh, just really knocking out those compartments to get his crew down, and that is a relatively easy kill for me. And that one was actually a player, R-301, that's another kill, an actual player kill this time, so I'm relatively happy with that. Continuing to reverse up, again there's gunfire coming from that side now, so I'm reversing up to try and get a clear shot, take a look at what the target is, so that I can then open fire if it is an imminent threat. Essentially during this match my entire thing was just to protect the A point, um, going out towards B and C it's a lot more open, and you risk being shot by destroyers, which, you know, a main calibre destroyer round hitting this vessel where I've already taken a relative amount of damage this match, that's not going to end well, so the best thing to do, stay over here, stay near cover, and basically just farm on the bots and the few players who spawn over here in small boats. There is then an enemy destroyer who I see fire, so I very quickly decide to get back behind this large cargo vessel, and those shots were quite close to actually hitting me, and if they did hit, I could almost guarantee that they would probably have knocked me out. Uh, a short while later, a few players actually spawn in small boats and begin heading towards the A point. First one, this Russian vessel, um, he's coming out. Obviously, it's a gumbo. I believe it has turrets with 23mm cannons that are pretty devastating. Uh, I do luckily get him, but he does set me on fire, does some other damage, and then there's an American boat, of course. And the American torpedo boats, the American gunboats, they have quite, uh, quite a few 50 cals. Uh, a few of them have a 40 mil on the back. They put out a lot of rounds per minute, and they're pretty deadly, generally speaking, so killing them, quite lucky that I wasn't killed. Nonetheless, though, the game then comes to an end. Um, I did survive, got 10 kills, and I was pretty badly damaged, but it was a win nonetheless. So our next game is on the map Arabian Sea, uh, heading up towards the C capture point, going past the B point. On my way, I come into contact with the first few enemy vessels that I spot. Firstly engaging an S100, uh, he was also being attacked by other friendlies, I get the kill by knocking out the remainder of his crew, spam some shots into an R301, get an assist, and I also spam some shots into what I believe is a K7, which is a Japanese sub hunter I believe, although do correct me if I'm wrong, but those shots do later yield me another assist. Continuing towards the sea point, I do then come into contact with a Russian riverboat, I think it's a P1124. Uh, his crew has already been knocked down quite a bit, all it takes for me is a few hits to get that kill. I then continue towards the C point, as I'm on my way, I see an R301 heading towards the B point, fire some shots, get another assist. In this game I do get a fair amount of assists, certainly no bad thing, definitely worth keeping the enemy off of that central point to try and keep it balanced. In the meantime though, a German VS-10 has rushed up to the C point, captured it, and now I gotta try and take him out. Uh, he was on full health, the 40 mils do a lot of damage, uh, he does get some shots off on me. I believe the VS-10 has six 15mm machine guns, very high rate of fire, they did a pretty good all-round amount of damage onto my vessel and set me on fire, although luckily I was able to kill him before he could kill me. Once I have put out the fire, I continue to head towards the C point. Of course, currently the points are balanced, or the bases are balanced, but then the enemy starts to capture the A point, and I don't want my team to be losing points. So we've got to decap the C point, get it on our side, so we can start draining those enemy tickets. Keeping a good 360 view though, um, the enemy will of course be coming from behind me at this point. There's also an aircraft up, so I do want to make sure that I'm not putting myself into a dangerous situation. Looking behind though, there looks to be a sub hunter of some description, I believe it's American. So spamming some shots at him, uh, all round damage. As you'll see, if you can just spread your shots along the hull of the enemy, enemy vessel you will knock down their crew very quickly which certainly is a tactic that appears to work quite consistently. Although in this case I pass behind an island just before being able to finish off the remaining few percent of that vessel's crew and understandably I don't want to get an assist there because I did just knock down essentially the entire crew. Luckily for me though his vessel sinks just before 
uh, someone else is going to attempt to get the kill, meaning that I get an assist and that kill simultaneously, putting me up to, I believe it's five assists now and four kills. After that point, we've got the C point, and I see an enemy vessel going to the now uncaptured B point. Spam some shots, uh, again, just before killing him, I go behind an island, but my last few rounds that were in flight hit that enemy vessel and knocks out the remaining crew members. So now we're running with one base cap, five assists, and five kills. So now's kind of the final stand. My vessel is relatively damaged. Uh, we're heading out towards the B point, which is currently sort of the main point of contention in the game. It's the uncaptured point. Everyone is sort of going towards that area. Going around here, we see uh, a Russian gunboat. Uh, these things are relatively well armored. They're kind of annoying to deal with. But as said, these belts have uh, 80 millimeters of pen, which is enough to go through most of their armor. So the first kill there um, of this sort of B point struggle on one of those gunboats, I get a second one. But unfortunately, while being low on health, I get the second kill and then get blown up by another Russian gunboat. Um, you will see these things a lot. They're quite common around this BR due to their very considerable armor. They're well armored, they have good cannons, they tend to also have a few machine guns, so they're pretty good boats to take out, understandably, so you are going to see these quite a bit. The Fulgore is all round a nice vessel to take out. It can be at somewhat of a disadvantage when fully up tiered, as majority of the enemy team will be in destroyers, although most maps tend to have sections where smaller vessels like the Fulgore can take cover, such as in the first of those two games where I was up tiered and I was able to take cover behind various obstacles. The 240 mils put out a considerable amount of damage, making the Fulgore a match for any other vessel of its BR, and even some of the large larger or higher rated vessels that it may encounter. Unfortunately, the Italian naval line is still somewhat empty compared to most other naval lines, as of course it is a new tech tree, so there's not exactly a great lineup for the full gore. You'll either be up tearing the full gore or up tearing anything that you bring with the full gore. Although most of the lower Italian tier 2 vessels can hold their own in a slight up tier. Most players will presumably be grinding towards the Sayeta due to its guided missiles, and the Fulgore is certainly a nice stop on the way to that higher tier 2 vessel, and in fact can actually be rather useful in a lineup with the Sayeta. Overall, it's a vessel that I have enjoyed playing. While facing destroyers can be rather grating, down tiers in the Fulgore are certainly a much more fun experience and are definitely worth the grind. Anyways, that's going to be it from me. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, please consider dropping a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.